Peace be miracle hashtag the princess. And today I am here with Seven Streeter. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Okay. If you're ever stuck on a song, what do you do to get out of it? Oh, to get out of um, like a, a brain for a brain uh, writer's block. We call it writer's block. I walk away from it. I walk away. I'll go and do something completely different. I'll go maybe go play pool. Or just go hang out with my friends and allow myself to just not think about it so much. And then I go back and then I reevaluate. And then a lot, well, nine times out of the ten, the song is going to complete itself. A song always, it has to complete itself. It has to. And then it, it, whether you like it in the end or not, it'll complete itself. Yeah. The song that made you famous, how did you get it out there? Um, well, I feel like the song that kind of broke me was a song called It Won't Stop. It was featuring Chris Brown. And the way that it got out, um, I was writing songs for him. And through writing songs for him and, he, you know, me becoming his artist, um, it just kind of worked out. You know, we did that record and it, we put it out and it just, it kind of just took on a life of its own. And, uh, yeah, I, that's kind of the process of how it worked, yeah. How did you become, how did you know you could become a singer? Um, well, I've always loved singing. I've loved singing since I was like 10 years old. Well, younger than that. But I started taking it really serious at the age of 10. Um, I was on this show, uh, this talent competition show called Showtime at the Apollo. And um, ever since I did that, it was kind of like, okay, I had like the bug. I had the singing bug. And I knew I had to just sing. Um, yeah, I've known it since, since, since a little girl. I grew up singing in church. Yeah. What's the best part about being a celebrity? Um, I'll say the best part about being a celebrity is being able to help people um, in, in any kind of way that that is. Like, for example, you want to be a journalist one day, right? You want to be a blogger, a journalist, you want to interview. It, it makes my heart happy to sit here and talk to you. So that while you're young, you get, you're getting such great experience. Um, you're very professional. You're very organized. And I love that. I love that I get to sit here and talk to you because, you know, the, as you get older, when, the more, when you grow up, you'll have all of this experience under your belt. And I'm happy to be a part of your experience. What was your favorite song growing up? Oh, I had a couple of them. Um, my favorite song growing up... I just had a lot of different groups that I love. Like I love TLC, so I loved all their songs. I love SWV. I love 702. I loved Brandy and Monica. Like any of their music, I was just obsessed with. What's your favorite song now? My favorite song now is my new single. It's called Yearning. <laughs> That's my new song. It's my baby, um, and I just love it because it's probably the most. Uh, true song that I've written uh, that I feel like it, it really it speaks directly uh, you know it speaks for who I am it comes from straight from my heart thank you so much thank you